Did you know that when business owners and real estate investors go and apply for financing at their local lenders, that 50% of them are either denied, turned away, or not even approved for the amount of financing that they're seeking? In this video, we're gonna be going over the different type of commercial loans that exist, the terms, rates, and payments you're most likely gonna find with a commercial loan, and last but not least, how the process of applying for a commercial loan is different than getting other types of loans that you might have applied for in the past. I'm Melissa Mueller, a commercial and residential loan officer at Keystone Alliance Mortgage and Capital, which we are a residential and commercial brokerages that we offer many products and services that you're not going to find at your local banks or even single lender retail banks. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you get notified when we release a video each week and that could help you grow your business or your real estate portfolio. Let's get started by first digging into a handful of commercial loan types. First, we have SBA loans, and those are loans that are offered by the Small Business Administration. They're really comparable to in residential lending, FHA and VA, but unlike FHA, this Small Business Administration doesn't just buy back banks when lending money to home buyers. SBA actually lends part of the money on an SBA loan that closes. Next are HUD loans where you can refinance debt and the benefit they allow higher loan to value ratios. Then we have construction loans when you want to develop land into subdivisions or build a building. Next we have bridge loans which are for short-term financing for commercial projects. They might last say 12 months or 18 months. Then hard money loans. Um, this is where you can um, have the ability to get some quick cash to closing on a property that you'll put into a different loan down the road. And sometimes those can close in as quickly as a week. Then there's fix and flip. Like the loan type sounds, it's a line of credit of sorts that was created to help investors who buy and then flip the property. And then rental loans for properties that you are buying to rent out to tenants. The list that I just went through is not all commercial loans, but I hope there's enough there to give you an idea of how many different types of commercial loans are out there compared to your traditional residential 30 or fixed mortgages that most people are used to. So how do commercial loans work? If you're, used, if you're used to getting a residential mortgage, then you are somewhat aware that you answer a handful of questions, you get your credit pulled, and poof, you're either approved or denied for a mortgage to buy a house based on your income, debt, credit score, and assets. But when it comes to commercial loans, lenders and underwriters are looking at different things. They want to know your experience with the properties, your credit, cash flow of the property, and also reserves, which are extra money that you have in an account that you're not going to be using towards the loan. Ultimately, they want to make sure that they're, the deal is going to make sense and they're going to get their money back. It's all about risk. So the commercial loan pre-approval process, as you probably are guessing by now, is very different than when you go buy your residential home. The biggest difference happens when you start the process of getting pre-qualified. You can't just call a loan officer and expect a pre-approval later that day. Much of the qualifying process happens up front, which is why being prepared and planning ahead is important. Now I want to talk about the commercial loan loan to value ratios. Unfortunately, with commercial financing, it takes a capital or money down to be able to get into um, a loan. If you're buying, say, a six to 10 unit, you probably are gonna need a minimum down payment of 25%. There are strategies to working around this being your money, but when it comes to the lender, they're going to want you to have skin in the game. Again, remember, it's all about risk. The ability to not put money down comes into play when you're buying a building for your own business, and that's where an SBA loan can be used. You're gonna be moving in your business into the property, you're gonna be occupying and using at least 51% of the space, and it's gonna help you um, be able to grow the business because you're saving money on rent. SBA is one of the only ways to purchase a building with less than 20% down. We've seen lenders who have, will lend to the right business owners with as little as 10% and maybe even 0% if the deal looks correct. So next I want to talk about the commercial loan terms or LANC um, and that's going to depend on the type of loan you're applying for and where you are applying for the loan. If you go to a local lender, you're most likely going to be getting a loan that is amortized over 15 years and it has a five-year arm or balloon payment. This means that the payment is spread out over 15 years, but the rate is only locked in for the first five for an arm. If it has a balloon on year five, whatever balance the loan has at that time is due and you will need to refinance or pay off the balance. This is one of the main reasons why it's important, it's always smart to stay on top of your commercial loans or go through a broker who has options that extend longer than 15 years. 
A commercial broker is going to be able to find lenders who will amortize, amortize your loan over 30 years or even have an interest only option. This can greatly impact your monthly cash flow. So next, let's talk about commercial rates and how they're determined. Commercial rates are, are different than residential rates. Commercial interest rates can be calculated on a variety of ways depending on the lender's internal cost of the funds. The most common way a lender calculates interest rates are by taking one of the indexes and adding a spread for things such as loan size, credit score, and length of the loan you're requesting. Indexes used are the prime rate index, the LIBOR rate, and the swap rate. But now let's discuss what types of properties commercial loans will finance. Commercial loans will finance everything from a single family property, must be a rental and can't be owner occupied, to a 100 unit apartment complex, land for development, a business buyout, auction property, mixed use, warehouses, restaurants, auto dealerships. As you can see, the list is too long to name them all. The key is that not all banks will finance everything and finding the lender who lends in your space for your property type is going to be successful when you want to purchase a building and you need to expand your portfolio. Let us know your questions on commercial financing in the comments below. If you'd like to learn more about commercial loans and if you qualify for one of the ones that I discussed here, all you need to do is click on the link in the description to schedule a time to discuss options together and also to download the personal financial statement we will need from you to start the qualifying process. We will be there to guide you, answer questions, and point you in the right direction. We hope this video gave you the insight you're looking for and that you will join us for more information on next week's video. If you know someone who could benefit from this information, please share the video with them. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to get, not get further notifications. And if I didn't answer one of your questions, we would love to see your feedback in the comments. Otherwise, continue to check out all the other videos on residential and commercial financing on our channel and tune in for next week's video.